All right, guys. So welcome back to episode four of the F1 2010 Kermit Championship. Race four here in Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix. Last time out in Australia, we uh, managed to um, get our first podium. Now, actually, Australia was the round before that. We had Malaysia in the previous episode. And we uh, finished in sixth place after we uh, fell back through the field level when the track started to dry out. Anyway, this is round four. Um, we had some RD testing to do in practice, which um, will hopefully enable a new fuel mapping setting. Um, we managed to pass the lap time pretty uh, comprehensively there, and I started making some adjustments to the setup. I decided to go for pretty low arrow. I went for a three, three wings, because of course we do have the massive back straight um, just before the penultimate corner. So um, I think lower hour is probably a little bit better, but there's also quite a bit of high speed corners in the middle sector, of course. Um, so um, yeah, trying to find a bit of a compromise. It's actually raining, although it is drying up, as you can see here. The rain is actually stopped, but there are still a couple of uh, puddles. Uh, but the race is going to be dry, so I just went for um, a completely dry setup. We're currently in P19, but that first level at 151 was set um, in basically full wet conditions. And uh, I think I've actually put on a set of slicks now. Uh, I managed to improve our lap by nine seconds to 142, and we even break into the 139s now, which uh, puts me in second place provisionally. So uh, yeah, it is nice that the track was starting to dry out, and that we could uh, get some running in on a uh, relatively dry track as well to uh, prepare a bit for the race. Um, as uh, it actually still looks pretty wet, but the grip was actually pretty uh, pretty alright on the prime tires. And um, coming into the hairpin now, uh, some drivers were still struggling a little bit. You can see uh, Jensen Button uh, spun there on the exit of the penultimate corner. Of course, it's a very tight hairpin um, and it's very easy to uh, burst the wheels when we get in the power too early. Still mission for my lap again, 138.7 now. Which uh, moves us up into sixth position behind Nick Rosberg. Well and we ended up in P13 with Sebastian Vettel topping the session. We're still 2.1 seconds off, but of course I was on the primes and still sanding a little bit. In qualifying, I managed to improve my lap quite a bit with a completely dry track, of course. And now this time on the option tires to have 136.764, which put me in 7th position on the grid. 1.1 seconds behind Sebastian That's Vettel. Left. You won the fourth row. That's seventh place. So a fourth row start. Let's go into the race. Sebastian Vettel in fourth position in the Red Bull RB6. Lewis Hamilton alongside him in second place. And uh, it's P7 for us. P17 for our teammate, Sebastian Buemi. Well, the boss wants another points finish. Let's hope we can uh, deliver that. Lights are out. And we're off for round four of the season. 11 laps here at the Shanghai International Circuit. Pretty average start. Uh, we've got the Mercedes of Nico Rosberg there on the inside. We try to hang up on the outside. We find the gap at the inside of Felipe Massa there, but we actually run in too deep. I carried too much speed there, and I went onto the grass, lost the back end, got a bit of a nudge from uh, Petrov as well. Uh, but we do have the inside here for turn three, and that still section we got in the power, we lose the back end again. So already quite a few warnings here on this opening lap. Um, and if, yeah, pretty average start, but at least we're still in the straight line up the inside of Felipe Massa into this corner, but we lose the back end again, uh, which has cost me all my drive now for this um, fast middle sector. So uh, that has already made the gap pretty large to Jensen Button. We did actually manage to catch up to him later on in the lap. He was pretty slow um, towards the end of that second sector. We managed to get past him again brilliant. on the back straight. Thank you very much, Rob. Um, I mean, it was a, a pretty straightforward overtake in the traction zone there to be honest 340 kilometers per hour in the straight there i can't get it stopped there in two there and i was sucked into the slipstream there a little bit almost ran into the back of alonso and um that um causes jensen button to find a way past again on to lap two we uh cleanly go around the outside but i carry too much speed into turn one again i get on the grass and uh and I have to uh, still give up P5 to Jensen Button for now. As we uh, come into the final sector, uh, Jensen Button takes a really weird defending line. We go around the outside again and we actually spin him out. Um, luckily, we'll get a penalty for it. 
Uh, that was a bit weird. He just went so defensive and made his line so tight and just pinched himself on the inside of the corner. Um, but of course, I didn't mean to actually spin him out there, but I just found him get on the outside and I sort of turned in him and on him a little bit. He was very awkwardly positioned. In the stage from Valonso, we go up the inside of the airplane. This time, we do break on time. We managed to get it stopped uh, up into fourth place. Alonso still tries to hang on the outside. As uh, Rob warned me about my aggression there, maybe after the incident with Jensen Button as well. On to lap three. Um, pace is pretty good on option tires. We are keeping Hamilton and Weber within our sights. And we've actually pulled away from Button quite a bit. So uh, we're actually looking on for possibly a podium finish here. As you know, cut to lap four. This is the end of our first stint. We go into the pit lane. Uh, once again, we find ourselves behind Mark Weber. It seems like we... Uh, We've been fighting with Mike Weber for pretty much every race this season so far. Even in Bahrain before it started to go downhill over there. Also had to wait a little bit for him there in the pit lane, so that caused me to have a slightly slower stop, 5.1 seconds. Uh, we rejoined the track in P6, just ahead of Alonso. But of course I am on cold tires, but it looks like we did manage to stay in front of him. And I actually came out by my team at Sebastian Buemi, so it was nice to see him again on the track, because I I don't really come across my teammate that often so far this season, so uh, he is, of course hasn't made, hasn't made his stop yet. And um, onto lap 7, I think all the pit stops have shuffled out now, so we're back up into P3. And the pace was again pretty decent, we actually put in the fast lap, the 137.493. Um, and we're closing up to Mark Webber, so again, we have the same guy that we're battling with as we dive up the inside into the second snail section. Next up is indeed one of the McLarens, but he is five seconds up the road. I uh, also adjusted my aerodynamics there to uh, adjust the front wing level into a down position to uh, aid me here on this back straight. It seems to be working because the pace is actually pretty good on the straight there. Also, of course, uh, because I'm using uh, low arrow with the three, three wings. On to lap eight, coming through the snail section, I lose the back in there and I overcorrect and fly into the gravel trap. And that is um, very unfortunate because that has now lost me second position. Uh, but luckily, there was a big gap to uh, Jensen Button in fourth, so you can see I was a bit frustrated by that. But at least we're still in a uh, top three position. But uh, I think we can uh, definitely wave goodbye to anything higher than this, especially if we continue doing that. Another backhand loss. It seems like I just lost all grip in the tires, even though the tire wear isn't really a thing yet with the primes. Maybe it's because the prime tires didn't really work around here. Again, another backhand loss come out of the snail section there on lap nine which has uh, lost me all of my drive, and again, I just can't seem to get the power down. Um, Button gets past me, and Massa does as well. So we're down to fifth place. Actually, Tensor Button is actually also pretty fast. He is uh, a couple seconds up the road now, so it's going to be difficult to uh, try and salvage podium out of this race as we uh, close up to Massa there into the braking zone of the hairpin. Possibly shaping a move up the inside. We tuck back in for now. Very, very close to the Ferrari. We almost push him through the final corner. He runs off. And um, we retake P4 as we start with the penultimate lap. Putting the arrow back up into uh, the plus position there. To uh, have a bit more bite in the front end. In this uh, very long right-hander. So uh, yeah, just about two seconds to Jensen Button in front of us. Again, we lose the back end completely twice. And I overcorrect again. This time not as much as what I did in the previous uh, lap. Um, but I do lose the position to Mesa again. So um, a, a podium definitely isn't on the cards anymore. And now coming through the second snow section, I lose the back end again. And this is very, very painful because this has compromised me for the entire back straight. We drop back to P7 behind Robert Kubica in front of uh, Antonio Luizzi. So uh, let's just hope that we can even hang on to some points at this point because I just can't exit corners properly as Vettel goes past. He is all the way down in seven places. He's actually leading the championship, I believe. We switch back to the inside, outbreak him again. So he tries to actually keep it on the outside. We have Luizzi in the inside. It was three wide momentarily. Vettel actually runs off the track and loses the position to Michael Schumacher. So he's also having a a tough time in this race as we uh, go back up the inside of Lutz here on the start finish straight as we start with the final lap can we get past the force india here into turn one we break later and we get back up into seventh place but yeah the mistake i made there was that on this game when you get into a slide you shouldn't actually try to counter steer it and like correct it because the best thing to create a slide in this game i found is by just locking the brakes and keeping the wheel straight but by 
locking the brakes and trying to correct it, or even trying to correct it without braking, like you can't actually hold the slide. So you're always gonna overcorrect when you try to catch it. It's a very unrealistic way of catching a slide, but that's just how the F120 Tommy mechanics work. So I definitely learned in this race that I shouldn't correct the slide. I, you just need to jump on the brakes. And especially if you don't use ABS like I'm not using, the car will just straighten itself out magically. You can see there again another back end loss and I can't catch it. I got in the power too quickly there when I was still in the slide and I tried to rejoin the track. Now I'll be right into the path of Sebastian Vettel and that was just a complete mess there. Um, Sebastian Vettel was smashed out of the race. That's... Uh, he got a penalty for it as well. And rightly so. I mean, that was just completely stupid. That was completely on me there. I just re rejoined the track dangerously without really... I was basically just praying nobody was going to hit me. I was too desperate to get back onto the track. And now we have dropped back to P16. Uh, even Bruno Senna has passed. We've lost our front wing. And uh, this race is completely down the drain. So a uh, very unfortunate way to finish it. We tried to get past Senna again, but of course I can't break late without my front wing. It doesn't really matter anyway, because we're not going to score points anymore. And um, yeah, I even can't exit the hairpin properly. P16, we've got Karun Chendok and our teammate uh, Buemi still behind us, but of course we do also have that uh, penalty. So uh, come out of the final corner. It's P16 on track. And in the end, it's P19. So, uh, yeah, very disappointing, especially because we were looking so strong at the start of the race. Yeah, at least we did get to the end, just about. But, um, yeah, we definitely showed good pace on the option tires, but I just I just lost my head. I should have just um, taken it a bit more cautiously, and especially I should have been more careful when rejoining the sphere group. I mean, even if I didn't make that last mistake, I could have easily finished in seventh place. But the thing is, I, I lost the back end and I went on the power too quickly. I should have just locked the brakes so clearly until I was straightened out. But um, I guess this is what our, our rookie season is for, to, uh, to kind of learn these things and to learn what this game is like and how the handling model works. Um, because, yeah, I just made some uh, really crucial mistakes, which is going to cost me a lot of um, uh, reputation points, of course. But anyway, uh, Dave Troft is uh, calling us for an interview, so uh, let's see what he has to say. For some reason, I was taking my time here. Nick. Hey, Nick, over I guess here. I didn't want to speak to the press. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't edit this out. Well, no, I don't think they are, because uh, we completely uh, messed up the race and we uh, finished outside the points. It's been a hectic start to the season for most of the drivers. How's it panning out for you? Well, it's, it's, it's been a very up and down, hasn't it? We've had some really good results. We've had our first podium, um, but it's been very inconsistent. We had a lot of bad luck in Bahrain and I just um, completely ruined my own race here in China. So, And yeah, it's, it's just um, all over the place at the moment. So we need to to get more consistent. The team have been burning the midnight oil recently to make sure you've got a car that's capable of winning races. You must be happy then with the work they're putting in. I mean, yeah, the car is actually solid. We've done uh, already quite a bit of R&D testing. Um, and, you know, the fact that we didn't finish in the points in this race was completely down to me. So anyway, the next race is going to be in uh, Catalonia. I can already tell you that it's going to be a very tough round because the AI is very strong around that track. Um, I've already done the race, but I actually forgot what happened or where I finished. So um, it's also going to be a surprise for me when I'm going to edit it. Because <laughs> actually, um, I'm actually running ahead a little bit. I already did those races a couple of weeks ago, so I can't remember exactly um, what happened. But anyway, um, I'm sorry for my driving standards today. It was a very poor display of driving and uh, very disappointing results so i apologize for that but uh, i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it nonetheless and uh, i'll see you for the next one in barcelona so um yeah cheers for tuning in once again and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye